I guess that's actually one of the other challenges we had with the installation, which is being hands-off. So that's a non-typical process for us. Being DIY RVers, we tend to want to do all the projects ourselves. But um, we also know what our limits are. Yeah. And part of being a good DIYer is knowing what you're capable of and what you're not, and not taking on projects that you're not qualified to do. Right. And this is one of those cases where we had a professional in conjunction with Xantrex, bringing Pacific in, was great, and watching them work, mm -hmm. and them allowing us to participate in some of the work that we were capable of doing under their supervision was awesome for them to allow us to do that. We know that in most cases, when a professional does work, they don't let the owner of a vehicle come and do it with them. In this case, this was a special situation, and we were very appreciative. It made they, worse with the camera. <laughs> yeah, they, they allowed us to stick a camera in their face all day and do some of the, a little bit of the wrench turning as well. All right, but there were a lot of nuances that uh, Xantrex's engineers worked side by side with Pacific in order to make sure that every step of the way, the right decisions were being made in order to ensure that the power is being delivered smoothly, both into the battery and out of the battery. So there were a lot of steps along the way in, in integrating this with a system that was not originally designed for a lithium battery system, making sure that every decision was made the right way. So that was all kinds of things that even though we could have potentially over time figured a lot of things out, we don't have the expertise to know where some of the gotcha points were. And so it was really important to make sure that, you know, Xantrex's knowledge came to bear in order to, to make sure the system is going to work optimally.